guys hello and welcome back to a brand new vlog we are at Disney's Animal Kingdom now honestly you guys know me this is my favorite park on planet earth honestly if someone it literally I would just wish this was a lot closer to home because if it was I'll be in it every day I absolutely love this park I can't believe I've actually been here for four days and this is my first time here I actually can't believe it usually this is the park that I go to first anyways before we go any further if you like this video make sure you smash that like button and if you haven't hit subscribe already make sure you smash that subscribe button today is a get well firstly it's Thanksgiving today so the park is gonna be intense it's gonna be insane Scene. so to be honest again just like everything prior in the previous vlogs we have no plans we've got no fast passes well I say no fast passes no lightning lanes and genie pluses nothing we're literally just coming in getting the feelers for it reminding ourselves of how awesome the park is if this if the queue times are down then I will definitely jump on flight of passage it, you guys know if there's one ride that I will definitely queue for it's flight of passage I would happily queue for hours on end for flight of passage because there's just no ride in my opinion like it on planet earth but anyway, enough talking from me. Let's head in the park and uh, let's, oh God, honestly, I can't believe I'm even saying this. Let's head back in to Animal Kingdom. Can I just say as well how awesome it's been being in Florida during Thanksgiving. Everyone's been so nice. Everyone's been saying happy Thanksgiving, things like that. It's it's actually really nice because before coming here, I never really understood the Thanksgiving, which makes me sound so ignorant. But if you know what I mean, in England, we don't really celebrate Thanksgiving. We know about Thanksgiving, but we don't celebrate it. So being here and experiencing and hearing people's joy and happiness, it really, it makes you think, do you know what I mean? And I've honestly, I've loved it. And I've, I'm even saying now to people, happy Thanksgiving, <laughs> happy Thanksgiving. You know, when you walk into Magic Kingdom, a lot of people get emotional, especially a lot of people that haven't been back. This is tipping me over the edge. This, oh, this park and the tree, just the tree of life, just, it's stunning, isn't it? I could literally just stare at it all day. And I wonder if they still do the evening Sure. I've actually not looked on the app. I need to actually check. It's just so good being back. So good just being back in here and just experiencing this again. I honestly thought this day would never come and just being back in here and just seeing it and just, oh, yeah. This is my home, honestly. If, if there was somewhere, if there's so, if there's some place that I would love to call home, it would be Animal Kingdom. Oh, wow. How awesome is this? Oh, it's so cool. Oh, it's when you see all the birds flying as well. Look, oh, just, oh, look at it. Oh, it's, oh God, I'm gonna get emotional. Oh God, this is, this this sort of stuff tips me over the edge, guys. It really does. Whew, it really does. It's so magical, isn't it? So I've just asked my followers on Instagram for you guys to decide where you want me to to eat basically and I'm not joking I've went on and everything is like booked there is a few places I can eat but I'm looking at like an hour wait so in the meantime let's have a Starbucks you know me I love a Starbucks oh oh my god I love the Starbucks and yeah it's so cool how are you okay oh thank you oh I'm so happy oh god now I am living my best Disney life right what should we get? I want something naughty. I want something so unhealthy. I want to literally feel myself <laughs> waddle <laughs> around this park. Right, hang on, because I'm feeling, I'm in such a good mood now. Right, hang on. Right, I, do you know what? I really want to try the iced sugar cookie almond latte, but I wonder if they do it in a frappuccino. Hang on. I need to see if they do it in a frappuccino. I might just ask. Right, I'm definitely living my best Disney life because the iced sugar cookie almond latte I've asked, can they do it in a frap? And she was like, yep. I was like, oh, I'm living my best life. So I'll let you know what it's like. Honestly, I, 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 I don't even know what it's gonna taste like, but it just looks awesome. So I'll let you know. Right, 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 right. Oh, it looks good. I hope, right, because I'm really building this up. I hope it actually tastes nice, because if it doesn't, then it's gonna be a bit embarrassing. You ready? I'll just have to delete it. You will not see it. It's just how I imagined. Hmm. Right, anyways, let's just carry on walking. Apologies, right, the sun. I always find it in this park. The sun is always in the most awkward positions. It's literally like, well, it's behind me, basically. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. Hey, God, I can't get over this, you know. Honestly, can't get over it. It's so good. I tell you, mind, you know how some of you were laughing at me about the uh, taking the cereal bars on holiday? I'm so happy I did, because I would have literally be starving because obviously 
quite a lot of the, the food and the quick service and things like that are so busy at the moment where I'm living off my cereal bars. <laughs> like, don't get us wrong, it's... You can, like, obviously, if I, if, I, if I was happy to stand in a long queue, then I could get, obviously, I could get food and stuff. But I just, I'm one of these people where if I have to, like, queue for longer than, like, 20, 30 minutes, I'm just like, oh, I'll just come back. You know what I mean? Oh, my God, right. Apologies if you can hear loads of banging. There's kids over there. I'm obviously not going to film them, but there's kids over there literally banging on loads of drums. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds, it literally sounds like a firework show. But anyway, if you can actually hear me above the noise, I'm at the pin station. Now, let's see if there's any pins that tickle me fancy. Hang on. Let's look. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. I love that. Really, really like that. I've already got, like, the Paris version of that, kind of. Ideally, I would love an Animal Kingdom pin, but, I've, do you know... I've actually, I can't see one unless I'm just being really silly and there's probably one like staring at us in the face, but I actually can't see an Animal Kingdom pin. Oh, 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 right, we might be in luck. Oh, right, I found this one. Oh my God, it's the last one, it's a sign. If it's the last pin, it's a sign, I'm telling you. Right, hang on. I don't want to touch it, I want to kind of know the price without touching it because I know everyone touches these things. Right, I'm picking it up because I'm buying it, I don't care the price, I'm getting it. Right, and I want this one as well because that is just awesome. Want that pin? Right, what are the pins? Oh, I kind of want. I want that one as well. No, what's happening? Oh no! Oh, these are so nice. You know, I really, really like these. Don't get us wrong. I would have loved an Animal Kingdom pin. You know, like that just says like Animal Kingdom. I did. I did speak to the lady, and she said unfortunately they just don't have any. But I do like these. They are really, really nice. I'm so happy. Yeah. So funny thing. I just put on Instagram about them pins and Liam was like, oh, I love it, I love it. I was like, do you want one? I know what he's like. Yes, he wants one. Hang on, let's see what he said. Liam, what you like? Okay, yeah, he wants one. I better go and get him this pin. Wow, this is just awesome. Oh. This show has been awesome, apologies. I was too busy watching it to get the camera out. It, it's just, oh, and look, look at Everest. Hopefully I'll be able to get on it. I just don't know what the queue lengths are going to be like, but this is the first time I've seen this show. And I've just blown away by it, absolutely blown away. I have literally just got to Expedition Everest. Now I'm not riding it at the moment because the queue lengths are currently at like 50 minutes. So I'm not riding it at the moment, but I always love coming here just to see people's faces as they come down that dip. Do you know, it looks worse than what it actually is. When you're on that ride, it's not as bad, but when you watch, you'll see it. When, they, when, the, when you come down, Actually, do you know, I can't wait to go on it. It's one of, it's not one of my favourite rides. Well, in fact, actually, it is one of my favourite rides here. It's like definitely in my top ten. But I remember Stevie's face when he first seen this ride. This was one of Stevie's first rides here when we came in 2019. And I'm not. It's a good ride to get you into it because it is pretty intense. It's fast as well. It's good. It's a good ride. Anyone that's interested, this is where the standby line for Everest begins. So if you know this park you know this is busy because the standby line starts there on the bridge. You've got all that way down there and then you've got the zigzags inside the ride. So you can, as you can see, it's a very busy day. Yeah, so guys, just a quick one. We're actually gonna be eating at Restaurantosaurus. That's a, that is a mouthful. Yeah, they're just, um, they're doing the order now. So that's actually how it works. Actually, I don't know if I've showed you on the vlogs yet. When you when you do your orders, basically, you, you, you obviously scan the QR code, you can go through the app and then you, you basically tell them that you're here and then they'll start making your food. Once, obviously once they've made your food, then you can, oh God, you're now dropped my phone, then you can go in. Now, a few of you guys have said like, try Yak and Yeti and things like that, honestly, everywhere is just like, no orders available, no orders available. Unless I'm doing it completely wrong, you guys will have to let me know in the comments, obviously by the time you see this, obviously. I'll not be here, you know what I mean? Well, I will be in Florida, but I'll not be actually at Animal Kingdom. But I suppose for the future reference as well, and if it helps anyone else as well. And there we go, guys. Food is done, and it's telling me I need to pick it up from Bay Fives. Hey, how you doing? Oh. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Aww. I love it when they say, like, Happy Thanksgiving and things. Right, so I've got the food. So I've got the chicken and shrimp. Taste test. I know shrimp's not everyone's cup of tea, but... Mmm. Very nice. I'm gonna try the chicken. 
very very nice the only negative I will say is there's more batter and breadcrumbs than actual shrimp and chicken but do you know what it's not it's not a main meal it's just something to fill fill a little hole fill a gap basically oh that food was really really nice do you know this always happens I go in for food and I do this thing right where I get my phone out and I can sit there forever honestly it happens all the time and oh, hang on two seconds oh I'll drop me water lovely angle that wasn't it lovely angle right well next stop's gonna be dinosaur because it's currently 30 minutes so it makes sense to do it and I do love this ride Let's roll! Let's go get that dino. Oh, I've missed this so much. Okay, now let's go get that dino. Identify! Definitely not our dino. Go! Every time. Every time. Love it. Do you know what though? I'm gonna be honest, it feels more brutal than what it was, but I remember. Maybe it's because I've not been on it in such a long time. Maybe I've just got old and it hurts a little bit more. I don't know, but <laughs> love it, I love it. Just a quick one as well. Nathan needs me to pick up a magic band for him because obviously he's coming out. By the time you've seen this, he will already be out, I think. In fact, yeah, he will be here. He'll be already here. So this is the magic band I've got, Nathan. It's just the black one. I know Nathan will just want a plain one, so this will do him. He'll be happy with this one. Oh, wow, look at that, man. How cool is that? I love it. Oh. Apologies, we're actually at that stage now where it's so dark, you're probably going to struggle to see us because Animal Kingdom is probably one of the, the most darkest parks in the sense of there's not as many light and especially because where we're going now we're actually going to, well I'm going to attempt to head over to Flight of Passage. Now I've not even been in Pandora yet which is crazy for me. Usually Pandora is the first place I want to go to but I've just had such an awesome time just walking around chatting with you guys. Yeah we're going to head over to Pandora anyway, however though I am going to be passing Everest so it's tempting. Do you reckon I should see if I can get on Everest maybe? Oh, I'm so excited for this. I'm literally middle cart as well. And I think close at the back is always the best. But I do like the front row as well. It's like one of them things, front row, back row. But to what, the more close you are at the back, the faster it goes 100%. Yeah, I've definitely not done this in the dark before because I can't remember any of this. Oh my God. This is always awesome as well because you can basically see. Look at that view. Where else would you get a view like that? It's awesome. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Every time. God. Oh my god. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Absolutely awesome, love that. Absolutely love it. So different in the dark. 100% so different in the dark. It was pretty funny actually because I wasn't on my own. There was a little, it was a young lad right next to us and he was on his own. And I was thinking, God, you're a bit young to be on this on your own. Like, I would never have had the confidence, bless him. It actually stopped <laughs> in the middle of the track. Like, it just stopped and that's why you probably, it probably clipped for you, you know, like I cut it. And, um, I was like, have you, he was absolutely calm, I was like, have you been on this today? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I've been on it loads. I was like, has it been happening like this all day? And he went, yeah. I was like, all right, no worries. I absolutely love Animal Kingdom though, you know, when it gets to this time of night. Ooh, Joffrey's, should I get a Joffrey's coffee? In fact, you know what, I'm gonna, because I had a Joffrey's the other day and you guys, honestly, have been saying how much you love Joffrey's, so I'm gonna give it another go, because I do like it. Right, hang on. What, what, what's a good thing to get from Joffrey's? In fact, you know what, I actually might get a hot chocolate. Shaken Jamaican, a flavour shot hazelnut, Irish cream caramel, cold brew. Hang on, hang on, what? So, frozen drinks, hot chocolate. Do you know what? I might actually get a hot chocolate because I've not had a hot chocolate yet. But we don't have Joffrey's in the UK, so it's like, it's hard for me to... Oh God, I nearly fell over. I'm actually leaning on a bin. <laughs> I'm very classy. <laughs> right, here we go. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Oh, that's really nice, actually. Right, I'm actually going to attempt to go to Pandora. I'm going to leave Epcot tonight. I don't have to go tonight. I'm going to go tomorrow. The only thing is, I don't know if I've got a park pass tomorrow. I need to look. <laughs> I know. I don't know if I've got a park, park pass tomorrow. Dan, just look. I know that's what you'd be saying. Just look. I, I will. <laughs> I'm just going to go. I just need to quickly nip in. I've seen something in Epcot. And do you know what? It's gonna, not even going to be there. 
I'm te- Oh my god, something's biting me leg. Oh no, I've been getting bit. I've got a massive bite on the back of my- Do you know what? I wouldn't care, right? I've actually brought with me a uh, bug spray and I've not put it on once. And I've been bitten on the back of the neck, bit on the back of the legs. I'm a nightmare. I need to be more organised when it comes to things like this, Donna. Oh, apologies. I know it's going to be really dark for you guys. So I know you might struggle. Just even the ground like that you walk on is all lit up in Pandora and it's just so awesome. Just a quick one as well guys, don't worry about it being too dark and not being able to see a thing because I will be vlogging this in a few episodes time in the daylight before Nathan comes. I forgot that I do have a theme park reservation for this park one more time before Nathan comes out. So I'll be able to vlog this in the day because you literally can't see a thing at the moment. It's, it's so hard to see. However, there's some lights down there. But I do want to ride Flight of Passage. I am going to try and get on Flight of Passage before the park closes. However, though, it looks like they're stopping people. They ignore what I said. Sorry, they're not stopping people from going on the ride. There was just people blocking it and so, so yeah. Yeah, they're not stopping people. But it is currently saying 125 minute wait. Yeah, guys, ignore what I just said before. You know how I said, oh, I don't think it'll be 125 minutes. It actually is. The queue is pretty much, as you walk through the turnstiles, if you turn left, the queue starts there. It's definitely a well over two hour queue. I love Flight of Passage, and I know I said earlier, I don't care what the queue is, but it's half seven now. If I queued in that, I wouldn't get out the park potentially until half nine. When Nathan comes, we're gonna be doing lightning lanes and things anyway. But I'll do like my own, like as a solo traveller, I'll do my own lightning lane vlog, if you know what I mean, in Animal Kingdom. It'll be on Sunday for me, I don't, it'll be in two vlogs time for you guys. So in two vlogs time I'll be back here. Well actually, it's going to be a crazy day that, because we're actually going to be here during the day and then we've got the Christmas party on the evening. So that is going to be a manic, that is going to be a manic, a manic day. Wow. God, it's gonna be cool actually, but yeah. So, yeah, that's that's the plan. So, oh, that could, that lady's using her phone torch. It was actually giving me a bit of light. <laughs> that's that's what I will say about Animal Kingdom as well on the dark. It really is hard to vlog because I'm actually standing under a light. Because if I didn't, you guys wouldn't be able to see me. So, yeah, I'm gonna come back on Sunday, Sunday morning, and I'm gonna vlog, vlog it. You know what I mean in the daylight and things, and it's a bit easier to see because, like I say. You know, there's loads of stunning things like that beside me and you guys can't even see it because it's so dark. So anyway, we're going to head out the park now and we're going to head back to the resort and we'll unpick today really. Again, I know I've not done any shopping yet and usually I'm quite often, you know, taking you guys around shopping and things. I will do that with Nathan. Nathan wants to buy some stuff while he's out here. Obviously, I want to buy some stuff while I'm out here. I've just got to be a bit careful because of luggage space, but me and Nathan have already organised it where we're going to share luggage and things, so... Oh, at least at least I know I'm going to be sorted that way. Again, Disney know how to do a good Christmas tree. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, good morning, guys. Hope you're all good. <laughs> right, it's been a minute since since you've seen yesterday's footage. Oh my God, it's a squirrel. Oh. Right, I'm at that bit right where you walk. Oh my God, there's a squirrel in the bush. All I seen was something moving I thought was a bloody snake. Oh God, right, I, I'm not built for the wildlife. I'm not, <laughs> it's hard to believe that my favorite park's Animal Kingdom. I think I'm being pedantic. Read that sign over there. Alligators and snakes in this area. And I keep hearing things in the bushes and it's squirrels that keep running back and forth. Squirrels, please, you're scaring us. <laughs> Anyways, talking about Animal Kingdom and talking about animals, it was so good getting back there last night. Well, yesterday. It was awesome. And do you know what? What a pleasure as well being in Disney for Thanksgiving. It was just awesome. Everyone was just so happy and jolly and I spoke to so many cast members. Obviously, I didn't get on Flight of Passage, which honestly, when I seen 125 minutes, I, I thought to myself, there's no way, there's no way it's going to be 125 minutes, but it actually was 125 minutes. So I didn't end up getting on that, but I did go on Dinosaur. Um, I got Nathan's Magic Band, which was good. And do you know, it was just so nice being back, being there, experiencing it. I love, I honestly 
love Animal Kingdom. There's so many things. When I was a kid, I always loved animals. I grew up with animals. My mum's always had cats. We'd visit zoos all the time. So like, I don't know. It's just, honestly, I just, oh, I just love it. Honestly, I just love Animal Kingdom. So just being, being there, again and just experiencing it on such a special day as well like thanksgiving i feel like i picked the right time to go I, I, obviously i was meant to be there a lot sooner than what i was but i just yeah it was just a perfect time and i absolutely had the best day hi squirrel there's another squirrel <laughs> can you see it there it is oh my god there's a beetle on us What am I like? Just a quick one actually, for anyone that's interested about Pop Century, there's a lake that basically is where the Skyliner is. By the time you watch this actually, I would have left. So my room is literally overlooking the lake, just over there. It's literally by a bush and it's so nice in it. I'm literally right by the Skyliner and it's lush. And then literally as you walk out the room, you've got this lush lake and there's this path that basically goes all the way around and it's 1.3 miles in length. It's lovely, honestly, it's so nice. I've honestly, one of the, I've loved Pop Century. A lot of you guys, I did an Instagram live today, and a lot of you guys were asking about, do I prefer all-star movies? Because at this point when I'm vlogging this, this is all I've stayed at so far. Yeah, obviously, what's your thoughts between all-star movies and Pop Century? I keep getting asked. All-star movies was very clean. It was very, obviously just being renovated. Pop Century, you can see it's a little bit of an older resort. When I say older, it's obviously not had work on it for a while. The Skyliner is awesome. And would I necessarily pay the price difference? But look at that, look how awesome is that? Would I necessarily pay the price difference for this compared to all-star movies? I'm not 100% sure I would because I don't feel like the Skyliner is awesome but I don't feel like it's that important to me, but I know every family is going to be completely different. So it's definitely something to think about. Please don't think that I'm saying Pop Century is a bad resort because it isn't. It's a gorgeous resort. I just felt like old star movies. I, I preferred old star movies to Pop Century, but I love Pop Century. I love it. I think it's a lovely resort. Like, don't get it wrong. If someone, if someone said, would you rather see Offsite or Pop Century? Pop Century every single day. I absolutely, I've loved it. I just, if I had to pick between old star movies and Pop, I would pick all star movies because the Skyliner, like I say, isn't that much of a big thing for me. Another interesting fact that I didn't know until I came here is obviously there's Pop Century, but there's there's Art of Animation. So literally, I didn't realise this, and, it, and I was thinking about this last night when I was at Animal Kingdom. You know, you're so close to Pop Century and Art, and Art of Animation, if you're ever struggling for a bus home, and one bus is gonna say 20 minutes and this bus is gonna be 10 minutes, you could jump off at Art of Animation because to be honest, it, it depends where you are a pop. But like for me, the bus stop of Art of Animation is just over there. I literally just have to cross that bridge and I'm at my, my room's just there, just over there. So it's, it's, you know, it's actually, it's actually ideal. This resort, honestly, it's ideal if you, you know, I was even, I was even saying this to Con actually last night, if you had family, and the old didn't want, you know, say, let's say some of them want to be an art of animation and some want to be a pop for whatever reason, you could do. You know, like, for example, if I brought my family out here, that would be the dream. I don't think it's going to happen, but if I did, you know, I could put some of them in art of animation if there wasn't enough rooms available to pop, vice versa. But anyway, guys, on that note, oh, God, there's a leaf. <laughs> let me say that again. Anyway, guys, <laughs> on that note, I'm going to shoot thank you so much for being here if you've liked this video make sure you smash that like button and if you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button guys the support has been unreal i, I can't thank you enough while i'm on this while i'm on the topic of thank yous and um, i just want to say a big thank you to my patreon members Patreon members get access to daily vlogs, behind the scenes content, daily vlogs obviously while I'm out here, and once they hit three months, they get a free pin. Please check the T's and C's. We also have podcasts and blog posts that go out there to Patreons first. If you'd be interested in Patreon, the link is below. I really do appreciate the support. From the moment that I'm filming this, obviously when you guys watch this on, on YouTube, Nathan will already be here. 
but at this point Nathan will be flying in 48 hours he did his test today hopefully it came back negative I'm obviously talking myself into the future here because I don't know the results yet but obviously I'll keep you guys in the loop on Instagram but obviously you will be watching this on Thursday he's probably already here tomorrow I'm actually going to be heading to Universal Studios and it's going to be my first time and I've been here almost a week leaving the Disney bubble but I need my universals and um, I need my universal fix and also as well I need to sort my annual pass out and I want to sort it out now before Nathan comes because I don't want to be standing along queues with Nathan obviously when he gets here he's, he's only got 12 days here so he wants to experience everything so we're going to sort the annual pass out first thing tomorrow but anyway guys on that note I am going to shoot thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it and I will see you in the next vlog on Thursday where we'll be at Universal Studios for the entire day trying out the new Velociraptor ride fingers crossed if I can get on it Harry Potter oh take me back oh I can't wait to get back and and the mummy I am definitely going on the mummy regardless I am going on the mummy I can't I can't go to Universal and not go on the mummy but anyway guys on that note I'm going to shoot thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next vlog bye guys bye